Attention all proud warriors. Have you ever considered joining Time Patrol? As a Time Patroller, you'll prevent history from being changed. Our duty is to protect everyone's memories and help return history to the way it should be. But we need your help. The only requirements are confidence in your capabilities and, of course, a strong desire to protect history. We've got a school for honing your skills and a fully equipped item shop. How about it? Why not use your strength to help out a great cause? <clears throat> We're always on the lookout for powerful warriors. Okay, then. Listen carefully. To maintain safety here, in Kanton City, home to the Time Patrol, there are a few rules you must keep. First, firing a Kamehameha within city limits is prohibited. Time Patrollers wishing to fly when not on duty are required to obtain a flying license. Please help keep Canton City safe by obeying its traffic laws. Lastly, any alteration of history is a grave offense. Our missions come with the risk of changing history. So you must exercise the utmost caution. Avoid making changes to history like Trunks did. Keeping these things in mind, please carry out your missions safely. For the sake of the world and its history, we, we look forward to welcoming each of you to the, the Time, Time Patrol. Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Fearsome First Mate Rakir, at your service. And welcome to the 84th Showcase Sunday, where we'll, <laughs> we're will we going to grab four to six games, give them each about half an hour of time to you know, see if they're any good for streaming later sometime. And uh, yeah, the first one we're starting with is Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think Dragon Ball needs much of an explanation. And yeah, most of the games are pretty known about what they are. And as you can see, I did play this for a while. 
not entirely to the end game or anything. But yeah, let's make a new character and we'll start the timer once we have made them. And for the fun of it, I'll let you decide the main, the main things. So, shall we make a Majin, a Saiyan, an Earthling, a Namekian, or one of the Frieza race? I have no idea what the others are, except the Saiyan. For I, um, I haven't mentioned Saiyan and Majin before, but the others completely unknown to me. Yeah, because Bakiri is <laughs> it's completely unaware of most of the Dragon Ball stuff. The and I'll admit I'm not much of a fan of it as well. Yeah, yeah like, but I do like Dragon Ball as he you know, abridged to, to hell and back. I mean, I, I said to the healer before and to him a member of him before, I'm not a fan of Dragon Ball. I don't hate it, I just don't like it. But I do love Dragon Quest. Yeah, and which has the it, same uh, designer, or character yeah. designer. Because I'm pretty aware of and I'm aware him, they made both. But that, but that doesn't mean I have to like Dragon Quest. It doesn't mean I have to love Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball is one of those I feel like I, I have tried. Did not work. Anyways, it's hello there, Glacier cool. Boy. Are you doing well today? Oh, hello, Glacier Boy. Uh, uh, well, I guess we try a Saiyan. Yeah, might as well try a Saiyan, since, well, they are basically the main protagonist of the entire series. Uh, let's see, is there a randomizer in here somewhere? Uh, let's see. It doesn't really look like there is a randomized button. It... <laughs> okay, going for that. Pretty sure that's uh, the hair from one of the Ginyus. That's a very 80s style haircut. <laughs> No nose. And then just that. <laughs> okay, we just make an absolute abomination of an ape man. Wait, wait, what the heck are you talking about, Glacier Boy? Uh, let's see. Yes, I'm definitely not next to Drakir being held hostage. So, he. <laughs> oh, we, we can even just make them stupid colors as well. Okay, um, might as well go with green then. For hair... Let's go there. <laughs> oh, good gosh. I forgot the name of that haircut. Uh, I'm just going with a bunch of random stuff. Just hitting random buttons. There we go. <laughs> oh, bloody heck, it's an abomination. Yes. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh, name. There. Okay, uh, yeah, just, let's see. Uh, what fighting style do you prefer? Like it up yeah, close, nice and personal. Hang back and blast them from afar. Close or far, keep it balanced. Basically, this decides uh, <clears throat> This decides where you get a first bump in. Just melee combat or ranged combat. Let's go melee, since most of the game is melee. And yeah, there's... Knowingly enough, there's always a, so a server with this. I don't know if the servers for the original Xenospheres are still up or not. Yeah, let's start the timer here. <laughs> uh, I don't expect uh, to get much, if anything, about this character after we're done here. I 
hope your audio isn't too low. I probably lowered it in the settings somewhere before. It is very low, actually. I'll have to change that once we're out of this. Why in the hell are you attacking us? So the legendary Super Saiyan has shown up. How very unsavory. Why is the fighting music just kicking here when he's just dying? <laughs> they already destroyed a damn planet. But, uh, yeah, not sure why they brought Bardock and such and that, but, yeah, I, you, you might recognize Frieza, the one in the, the pot there. But, uh, yeah, that's actually something that happens before Dragon Ball Z even starts, because that's that was Goku's father. Uh, I, I should have gone with the name Lime or something, because most of the names in this you know, series are puns. Why are we with Vegeta now? What? I finished that training armor you asked me for. <laughs> I found some wonderful material, so it should fit you like a glove compared to the old stuff. That's right. I made some state-of-the-art armor for my hard-working husband who doesn't even have a real job. <laughs> I'm such a caring wife, aren't I? Oh, come on. Ugh, every day it's training, training, training. Are all Saiyans like this? For goodness sake. You should know, Bulma. You're one of the first people to meet a freaking Saiyan. <laughs> Birthday party. Not that it's anyone's birthday. And then I just called a, a party, Bulma. One incoming report. Upon assessment of the situation, I have concluded that. Just wait one minute. What, what, what was that for? You've been specifically chosen for that critical mission. Now go out there and do it. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, I I'm guessing that each of the races have a, s a different little start there. Uh, but yeah, I know very little about Dragon Ball, but enough to, again, not be interested in it. But I'm not gonna bash someone for liking it, yes. Again, I think I said it before, flexing your muscle and break, resulting in a planet breaking in half is just, no, no thanks, no thanks. I don't think, that, you know, to my knowledge, from what I've seen, that has never happened, but then again, I haven't kept track of the show uh, at all. So I, might have happened, but I'm mean. guessing, the, wasn't it with the cat or something? 
on the shore. I, I wouldn't know that. That's uh, what all Dragon Ball fans I met in real life had told me. Uh, because it, if it was with a cat, that well makes more sense because that's the freaking cat. <laughs> God of Destruction in this universe. From what I heard, it's apparently a regular occurrence that a planet breaks apart. Mm, not actually, from my recollection, but again, not kept in touch. Oh, and now I remember why I put the volume down. The music? Yeah. Yeah. The Supreme Kai of Time has graciously appeared to give you her best wishes after all. I mean, really. Don't you think you're being hmm. a bit cold? Uh, the, 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 these games usually have good music from, Dra at least what I know from Dragon Quest. But even Dragon Quest, and I can't hear for this one, sometimes do get a bit um, absurd. Sometimes also, but you're a bit too bombastic. That'd be too loud. Uh, also, Glacier Boy, no real names, please. I'll have to cover that up in editing. Oh, oh dear. looking for the old man. When he heard you pass the test, he went off somewhere in a hurry. Why don't you go and look for him? And uh, yeah, this game doesn't really have a stellar start. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's the Supreme Kai of Time, aka the, well, this reality's God of Time, basically. Uh, uh, no, no good, Glacier Boy. Just don't keep doing it. Uh, let's see, the old man ran that off that way. He might have had, uh, he may have, uh, he may have headed for that building over there with the light blue roof. Somebody must have seen something. You should try asking around. Hurry up now. There's no time to waste. Oh, it reminds me. Even if you are in a hurry, you can't use flight yet. I saw you flying about. Don't mean to warn you again. It's dangerous to be out there flying recklessly like that. You need to get your flying license before you can fly in Canton City. Like the... Well... <laughs> the pre... Uh, the intro bit said as well. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Yeah, just throw all of the controls at you at once. Okay, uh, to, to tap the display. Oh, hello, Noon! Hey, Noon, you doing well? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. To, to, to press tap to display the map. Yeah, shop area, reception area, time nest, yada yada. To, to, patrollers and warriors with icons over their head will start events or provide vital information. Be sociable on your adventure. Icons can also display on the map, but some icons only appear during certain parts of the story, for certain events, or while go undergoing training. Okay. Yeah, just throwing a lot at your uh, face with all of this, huh? And, yeah, we need to go to somewhere behind us. Did you check where you're going next? Then let's over there. Okay. And, yeah, th this... Uh, this, this starting area... I, mm, I don't absolutely hate it, but I don't really like it too much either, because you'll be going around at this place for a while, and as you can see, it's a pretty big place. So, yeah. Getting around until you can fly is going to be a pain in the ass. Hey, how are you doing? Something the matter? Looking for the Elder Kai? He was walking down this road just a little bit ago, but he suddenly let out a large yell and took off. You know the uh, clothing shop over there? He went down the road just past it. Ask around uh, over there if you can't find him. Somebody must have seen where he went. He's usually quite a boisterous old man, but he seemed a bit, ex uh, <clears throat> a bit exhausted today. I wonder what happened. Okay, so this way now. Uh, yeah, they definitely could have done a better start Hello. with all of this. Uh, why are you wandering around like that? Well, let me guess, you're looking for the Elder Kine? I saw him walking down the road, drilling out that he was busy. I thought he was headed for the academy, but... He suddenly took off running towards the reception area, but he fell over. I hope he's alright. That was a pretty nasty spill. 
The reception area is just below that you know, large yellow roof over there. You'd be able to find it on your map. Yeah, and that's back this way now. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm doing well cooking dinner right now. Okay. Hope you enjoy that. Uh, oh, hello. An energy capsule. Nothing of too much use. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it's well, it's Sunday, so uh, tonight we'll be visiting my uncle to have dinner with them. Um, my uncle's actually off on a little vacation themselves by themselves now, so yeah, it's just uh, just him and my family who will be dining together. Okay. Hey, you want to know where the Elder Kai went? He left the reception area and took off towards the Time Nest. The Time Nest is just past that gate. You should be able to find it on your map. If you're ever lost, don't forget to take a look at your map, okay? Yeah, a bit of an annoying way of... Yeah. So in the time that we walked around here, he managed to slip past her and just fuck off up the stairs. And... Yeah, a lot of these oh, random NPCs yeah. you'll be seeing around, those are actually other people's characters that they made. Which is a nice little thing. Okay. Uh, so, I kind of found he's cooking dinner, but I, I'm, I'm eating the food. <laughs> Again, I'm usually eating something during these streams nowadays. Yeah. But, yeah, you can see one of my annoyances is just getting around here. <laughs> For a good you know, few while, and there he uh, is. Would this count as an MMO? Mm, sort of. It does connect to a server, and you can play together with others. You're late. Where have you been wandering about all this time? Hmm? You're saying it was my fault? Stop blaming your failings on other you young punk. Now listen up. You've been chosen for a very special mission. This is a great honor. You'll be the only you'll you'll be only the second elite member to ever do this. Your job is to travel to areas where changes in history have been made and fix any errors that may have occurred. However, you still have much to learn. First, you should learn from the wisdom of those that have gone before you. Once a chance has been made, a change has been made to history, it becomes easier for subsequent changes to, you know, changes to be made to it as well. So head out to those areas where changes in history have been made, and do what you can to right the wrongs that have been done. Okay, off you go. Hey, there, wait just a moment. Why if it, why if it isn't the Supreme uh, Kai of Time? And here, th <clears throat> and here, I was just about to take matters into my own hands too. Yeah, this is also rather annoying that a lot, most of the text is, well, written, not spoken. And let's see, the music feels a bit soul draining, not gonna lie. Yeah, we can change it though, if I remember correctly. There's no need for such hostility. I've come here to share my wisdom regarding the you know, secrets of battle. If you don't say, in that case, welcome. Yes, this is perfect. First, you, need, um, yeah, you must learn what you can from the Supreme Kai of Time. Come pay me a visit after you've learned all there is to know about being a time controller. Your first job will be waiting for you. Let me see. Um, no, not that. No, not that. Yes, we have equipment that we can e well, equip with all of this. Let's see. Options. Uh, music settings. Did that just... Why is it not... There we go. <laughs> We had to exit. You actually have to exit from there to get to hear it. Okay. Welcome. The wise and powerful Supreme Kai of Time is here to teach you the secrets of battle. You should be honored. Okay, it's time to get started. Are you ready? Yep. I get the feeling we aren't going to even get to a quest with how long this is taking already. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Now, it's important to begin with the basics. Let's get started, shall we? How long are we already in this? <laughs> Already 15 minutes and only now getting to combat. <laughs> All right. Ready? Then let's begin. Today we'll be covering the basics. 
You'll be seeing some commands in a bit. Press the button to the look here. Okay, let's get to it. Pretty simple, huh? Moving on. Try it out. This is why the main core of the game is actually coming, the actual freaking combat. Uh, there we go. Just step, either press shift. Okay. Okay. Was that supposed to be dodge or something? And the Cyberman. As we're already kicking this thing's ass across the screen. But uh, yeah, combo system, of course, because this is a fighting game. Now the heavy comp, uh, the heavy attacks, which of course can be mixed together. Okay. Okay. See you later sometime noon. This is noon. Thank you for joining. <clears throat> okay. Oh, one, two, one, two, three. Oh, yeah, I should probably comment. I forgot to answer this earlier. I know 40k destroys many planets, but I use a super weapon for that. Not someone just flexing the muscles. Okay, we can... Yep, roll the mouse button to change targets. Basic range attacks, which can be charged. Dash attacks. Okay, uh, on an R burst dash, press space to go behind. Okay. Basically, just. A there we go, need to click at the same time. There. Okay, I'm gonna punch the plow. Okay. Because uh, I already did it, game. Let's move on. Okay, we just have to take all of them. Okay, and then just beat up on the last one. Okay. But yeah. yeah. Guard break. For some reason, the up and down on the camera is rather sensitive. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, as very obvious, we're probably not going to stream this. Also because there's a lot of grinding involved with this. Since later stuff really uh, gets annoying with... Basically, if you go through this, the main quest, you're not going to be leveled enough for some parts of it, if you're, that's the only thing you're doing. Yeah, if I think it's too grind... Like, some games I can see us do off-screen grinding, if it provides us a good opportunity to do it. But... Yeah, I'm just not feeling this game. Yeah, it's just... It's laying this all in a bit too thick at the moment, I say. Like, it is good to give players a good introduction, but uh, by having it expressly be a, a trading situation like this, after well, basically wasting a few minutes just walking around in a circle, uh, yeah, they, they could have they could have thrown you into an actual combat situation from the start or something. Okay, just smack all of them away. Yeah, it's not really explaining the key and stamina too well at the moment, but yeah. Oh, God. I think I should remember a random Dragon Ball fact I actually learned from a clip. No. And the, mostly do I think I will really do to how absurd it is. Uh, Goku, or, I forget who is the son and father, but uh, bloody, I get, one of the guys that grows up to become a father. Apparently, yeah. don't know what a, a kiss is. Yeah, Goku is uh, very much out of touch with stuff. Yeah, and apparently, I don't recall also someone, I don't know if it was Vegeta or someone, just said to me that, no wonder his wife is pissed. Let's see. Yeah, with R and F you can access the specials that you have equipped. You don't keep these, I'm pretty sure of that. With R, no. R being the more powerful ones. And F being more standard. <laughs> and yeah, a part of a good part of this game is just going to be collecting these and building your own little, uh, <clears throat> uh, your own little setups from it. Yeah, they could have said that at the start. But... You're a quick learner. I think you're ready to brave the timelines. Oh, one last thing though. I asked some of your fellow patrol members to have a little spar with you. Hope you don't mind. Yeah, you could have asked us if we wanted to spar with them as well. Oh, for love of it. Don't worry. Just remember what you learned and put what you practiced into action. Oh, but first, I guess it'll be a real life I, I think we're about to go overtime with this soon. Yeah, we can end it in in a second. It's we. Item window. <laughs> That's how you do it. Now, let loose and go wild. Let's finish this fight and then we'll call it. This shouldn't take too long. Just as the timer goes off there. And yeah, one thing that is going to be, you know, that gets really annoying in later game with this, you know, late game with this is that enemies will start getting layered health bars and also, well, super armor in that they can't take any damage until you've dealt enough of a stunning force to them. Come on, let me break out of that. Bonk. And 
<laughs> they crash off in the distance. Come on, I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do. Uh, but yeah, this is a nice enough game, especially for Dragon Ball fans. But yeah, a bit too slow and uh, grindy for what we'll be doing. And, and maybe a, a lot of it is bombastic. Yeah, one of the ways that it's, you know, with this uh, is that the first Xenoverse game also. Uh, yeah, covered a lot of what this uh, what game does. We will you you'll be visiting the very same timelines and differences, or most of the differences that were made in Xenoverse One. Uh, so yeah, it. it hmm. I'm not really sure how to say, uh, but yeah, we won't be. Again, I haven't. I haven't gone into the, this game too far. I have seen most of Xenoverse 1 plates, but it, some parts of it do feel like just retreading a lot of grounds. Like the story the story outside of the places that you're revisiting is different. It's just, uh, yeah, retreading a lot of old grounds with what is actually going, with, where you're actually going with a lot of it. Yeah, I feel like this is a, 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 a game made for Hardcore fans than casuals, perhaps. Yeah, maybe not hardcore fans, but still. Either way, moving on to the second game. Oh, <laughs> Dragon's Dogma. That was quick. Yeah, that... <laughs> Typically, they put something in front there. Did they accidentally click something or something? Okay. New game. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, to be specific. Let's see. Uh, okay, just very quick there as well. In another place, in another life, another child of man blazes your path. How dark it's got. Have you a light source? Uh, uh yeah. I can see why people said uh, uh, that this game looks like uh, Dark Souls before Dark Souls was a thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure its combat isn't that tough. Oh, uh, uh, I meant aesthetically. Okay. For so we have similar writing style, similar... But if, if you see what I mean, uh, similar graphic and all that. Hey, Sensei. <laughs> it's good to hear that your knee is doing better. Hello, Sensei! We near our journey's end. The final station of our long struggle. Left all to block? Okay. Good. Well, <laughs> the, the dragon wears its dogma. You're oddly calm for some who's got fireballs. Okay, um, <laughs> but I thought we were going to impale them as well. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> uh, apparently the the dragon was talking there, but in about the same day that the tutorial is coming in. And see, invoking the stone can... It, give us time to fucking read, game. <laughs> Let's see, it's a rift stone. A stone edged I, with strange markings. Okay. Oh dear, I hope we can adjust that. Let's see, as we get some adventure, pawns will project with... Yeah, th these are basically just uh, summoned humunculi of a sorts. I'm pretty sure from what I remember of this game. I haven't never played it. But I have seen some videos about it. Yeah, I see a little bit... some videos about it then. People seem to split about this game. Like, some love it and some hate it. Uh, from what I've seen, the actual story of that goblin or whatever had an eye stuck in its skull. 
the actual story is pretty good, but I think I've heard that the the gameplay just gets odd or tough. I I forget the specifics. Again, some people have called it a pretty cool in game style to Dark Souls. For the all apparently similar, just this one is apparently easier. Oh, I know what that is. So I have seen people call it a Dark Soul clone, which I think people have called it unfair for. This came out way before Dark Souls. Yeah. Even before and, Demon Soul. And we've got harpies. Yep, it's already dead, Solm. Okay. I don't think uh, Rico people were sort of criticizing the voice acting or the grammar of it. Okay, just charging into battle, it seems. Oh, big boy. Okay, it's nice. On the one hand, it is nice that it's not interrupting our combat by popping up things, but it would also be nice. Uh, it would also be nice if it, well, let us click that stuff away. Like, not fully stop things, but slow things down a bit, maybe. Uh, oh, I clicked out of the game there. I'll draw its attention! What's attention? It... Morgana, did you just bomb everyone? Uh, there's the harpies. If you want to get spanked with a sword, maybe do that on your own time. I don't think that was doing a spank. Do you remember what the fuck? Oh, we, we were I getting frozen by the But now I'm sure if we should. Uh, we were getting frosted there or something. And hello. Survivors, let's join them. Combat so far is pretty nice, at least. Okay. This way, sir. Yeah. I see what's going on here. Why some people uh, were a bit conflicted about the voice acting. Like the line all delivered well. Are they sound experienced? Yes. The dialogue doesn't seem to match up. Uh, hello. <laughs> That's a big chimera. Yep. A chimera risen. Isn't the goat's head supposed to be on the shoulder, though? Not on the back? It, oh. It's supposed to be on the back, between the shoulder blades. Okay. The most modern me that depicts uh, it uh, to be next to a lion head. We can cling like, on to it. Okay. I said that this one is more closer to the mythical one, except I don't think the mythical one had goat legs for back legs. Can I climb over to the tail and cut it off? But yeah, all the media you should just put the goat head next to lion head and give it three heads, like a lion, a bird, and a goat, with a snake tail, or they just give it a third head being a dragon. I never understood why people did it. Other medias did that. I think we might be computing the least of all of this here. Uh, 
But yeah, we killed off the snake heads. It completely tore it off, apparently. Uh, I guess I, I'm guessing we can see its insides. I clicked out of the game again, but that's becoming annoyingly common these days now with some of the games. That for some reason, the mouse won't stay in the box. Oh. Low on health. Oh. Very low on health. Uh, Morgana, hurry up with that, please. What the heck? There was some... Are those supposed to be tusks? It hurts! Maybe. Nope. Uh, do we have anything in our inventory here? Curatives. Okay, come on, Herb. Uh, yeah, just... Okay, we can just... There we go. Okay. Wait, hold on. Okay, that's why she keeps seeing it. The goat head is up to something. Okay. It, Let's go deal it with that. Is there any people that made Demon Soul or Dark Soul who made Dragon's Dogma? I'm not sure. We didn't actually get to see, like, a... There wasn't a pop-up for the developers and all that, after all. For, if, if, if it is the same developer and designers, that would explain a lot. No. Turn from it. Do you heard people <laughs> say Demon Souls were the first game? So yeah. hey, I'm so, I'm very unsure for this game. This one came before Demon Soul. I'm not sure. We'll have to check. But all three of us are clinging to this motherfucker and just riding it like a stallion. Oh, well, we were until you, our stamina you, you ran never, out. You never ridden on a horse, have you? Nope. All <laughs> oh, right. I have, it, you haven't. It. Yeah, I can see where some of the Dark Souls comparisons are coming from, but this is based over clinging onto its head. This is basically a lot more action y ow. Yeah, like I will not be I will not be surprised if they when they made Demon Soul a Dark Soul that took inspiration of Dark Dragon's Dogma, just expanded on it. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> Get smacked out of the midair. Out of the midair? No, out of midair. Oh, it's going after the healer. Come on, there we go. Okay, a bit, mid a bit middling impression at first, but Comet is definitely a lot more interesting and. That is just the first example, so let's hope that they didn't put the best up front. Now choose, flee, or step forth. Take hold of what lies beyond. Claim mastery over the eternal ring. Why would you type write over like that, like or? Oh, I mean, it, that might be a one because they, they, they write in an accent. And countless lifetimes come to pass. But I'm not even going to try. The ever delightful and ever novel pleasure of a useless occupation, Henry de Rainier. Oh, so they put the original and the Turtle Slayer version, okay. Always nice and hello. What the heck? Oh. It's a portal with a lot of harpies and... Uh... Okay, the dragon's back. Yeah, with a severe case of heartburn from the looks of it. Aren't you going to try and fly or are you just dropping in quite literally?
let's see. Someone written something in chat? Glitch boy? Yeah. Let's see. That's a something I can't read. Looking dragon? Flashy looking. Uh, oh, uh, name. Kinda, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not a, if, if, You can't deny this also slightly have a... Well, you could call it Dark Soul feel, but again, it's... I'm pretty sure this came before Dark Soul and Demon Soul. Uh, let's see. Base body. Okay. Big one. A lot of character customization. Uh, let's go with this one here. Uh, voice. Okay. Uh, yeah, might as well. Uh, begin playing with this character. Yeah. Typically, character creation comes before everything, but let's just rush through since we're Speaking of rush through, could even get to, didn't even get to read a single word of that. Yeah, that. Probably would like us to stream this, but this that is some possible issue. Like from all I've heard, this game is good once you manage to get past some uh, some flaws with it. was that the dragon here early that would have been a pretty small puff for a dragon that size it's, it's the well that answers that <laughs> small from that distance. Oh, we're we're screwed. Sure, we're facing like an endgame boss here right at the start, so yeah, not going to end well. Seriously, okay, brave, but still. Okay, we can just cling to its inner thigh <laughs> not even damage its health. Ah. But did it pierce, did it? Didn't even get through the hide. Yeah. 
Guess it's a good thing we didn't spend like half an hour making a character because they died in like five minutes. Oh, well, that's the end. Or not, seeing as we're still freaking moving. <laughs> I'm so confused as well. Did, did they take inspiration from Dragon Heart? Just twisted it a little bit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure in Dragon Heart the thing was that the dragon and another character uh, had some sort of life bond. Not that they actually shared a heart. Uh, they actually did share a heart in the Dragon Heart. Yeah. <laughs> okay. However, again, I think they done something similar, just did some twists and turns here. Yes, you didn't get to keep your heart here in this case. <laughs> or you, you he gave me something else instead of a half of a dragon's heart. He just yeah, ate yours. Yeah, this least this seems more like some sort of life bond thing or something where it's basically feeding us a bit of life force to keep us alive to play with, I'm guessing. Yeah. It's time for you to begin your journey as a risen. Mm -hmm. Before you can win your heart back from the dragon, you'll need to prepare. Yeah, like again, I think they took inspiration from Dragon Heart, just Yeah, some modification to the whole thing. Your vocation determines your basic attributes, where will equipment and skills. We have the fighter, sword and shields, uh, melee specialist with attacks <clears throat> and counter attacks able to cut through any resistance. Then there's the strider, or the ranger in this case, daggers and bow, okay, and the mates. Well, mates speaks for itself. Let's go for the basic fighter. Let's see, you can prepare yourself with a primary and secondary weapon. Primary weapons such as swords and daggers are combat essential. Secondary weapons like bows and shields offer support. Okay. Uh, weapons. Move to equipment. Oh, we already have them equipped? Okay. Alright then. already gone mad for fear of this dragon. Won't no good come of this. I must go see to the others, Kina. Tell me if all changes here. Alright. Did the dragon basically leave us a magical voicemail or something? Feeding foes and completing quests, uh, quests earns you experience, and each level gains uh, <coughs> gained raises all of your attributes. It's a escape, you can check your attributes, full map, quest info, and more. You should be abed. I wish you would not strain yourself so. I am worried for you, cuz. Cuz? Cousin? Okay. No, don't be. Or. Yeah, I'm not sure what they mean that. Yeah, they're using an old word. It's like a bed. I'm pretty sure that's not a used a word that's used much anymore. What? 
Yeah, a bed, like bed? It, it, no a, a beds, like connected together, a bed to basically be in bed. People still use it all the time. Not that I've ever heard. This is pretty much the first time I've heard it used. Yeah. Yeah, we can just open this. Cloud wine. I think it's cloud wine. But it's more like uh, if you see one bedded, you say a bed. No, not not if one you're going bed. To bed just... You say going to bed. I, I think you're misunderstanding. But I'm this is what I'm talking about. That, that is the first time that I've ever seen it that used as a word. A bed? Okay, as a... Si okay, Connected I don't know together. what that is, then. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm guessing it means it's supposed to be in beds or resting. Yeah, may yeah that might be also one of the reasons people have uh, the problem is that they use a little bit too a bit too heavy with the old English thingy they're going on with. Hmm. Both, with hmm. both actual ones correctly, but also many incorrectly used. And most people don't speak in this amount. So people are probably half the time confused what the story is. Yeah, this, this place is looking decent, even though a dragon just came through. I guess we amused it enough to get it to move on. But yeah, we've hit our time. Uh, we've had our timeshare on the game. And it, it looks interesting at the very least. So I might just yeah. continue playing it on my own. Yeah, it, I could see us maybe streaming this. Just probably is how quickly moves are it. 2017? Yeah. Older. Yeah, it looks more like it's from the zeros. It, uh, oh wait, I think it is what with the re-release. Probably, yeah, actually. Uh, let's see, is there page up and page down, or page up ins right, is insert? Is there a date anywhere on all of this? Also, nice that they put in the actual physical manual in the game itself. Uh, no, yeah, probably re-release. Yeah, I'm for guessing. if that it, if that's from the original physical manual, then it means it was older than 2017. Yeah, I think it's. I think they still put manuals in on a rare case, but really just a rare case. Yeah, extremely <laughs> rare. Okay. Says most nowadays, a disc can handle tutorials and all that, and to have a manual before. Well, you had uh, to be... It was easier to just have a manual in the past. But you were yeah. rather conservative with how much space you can use on a disc. Let's see. Yeah, the third game we have for today is Dungeon Escape. And, well, I know... Okay, so it's level-based. I know nothing about this game. Uh, okay. Okay, I... I thought I heard of this, but I clearly not uh, for this is differ different. And but for, first, there was something weird with the music. I saw something from Glacier Border. You, you, they said something, it was someone's yeah. house? Uh, your house, it said? Does this game have a housing system? Maybe. Let's yeah, see, our yeah, jump is running yeah, limited. I think it was for uh, Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> That's when he wrote it. Yeah. I don't, I don't see a house in this. Okay, so it looks like the game is a bit of a basic... Wait. Okay, we have a double jump. Would have been nice to alert us of that. A bit of a basic 2D platformer. Is it going to get any depth to it beyond this? That's... Hmm. The fact that we're getting an achievement for each level tells me that this might be a bit of a cheap thing that was uh oh no i think what it might know what it might be helian hmm what then it might be a rage game yeah i i doubt that at least so far oh. i wouldn't really say it does it looks like that do we have an attack or anything settings okay nothing on controls 
we just... Do we just have to f chase after this thing to get that key? Yep. From the looks of it. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I'm calling it. <laughs> I'm not even going to start the timer on this. Or did I, I start the timer? Like it looks like a looks like a rage game, and you already rage quit. Uh, yeah, there's not, there's not even controls. It, where, is this is from, is this from Steam? Let me. Let me look up on the library here. Uh, dungeon escape. Let's see, store page. Uh, okay, so it only costs like three bucks as uh, usual. Uh, let's see, Jensen 2D platform with simple graphics and great chiptune soundtrack. Okay, it, it looks a bit, yeah, it looks a bit like a Meat Boy game, but with less uh, mechanics. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> At least we didn't waste much time on that. So that's a big no. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Game number four. Don Greed. Uh, let's hope that this is better than Dungeon Escape. Let's see. The town is peaceful as it always was. Looks a lot better already. Uh, okay, Adonis, put on your shirt. Mysterious dungeon suddenly something. Uh, oh, suddenly appeared. And just... All right, I think I've seen a little bit of this game. Well, that definitely do... was suddenly. Oh yeah, I think I've seen a little bit. Uh, do do this early access day, I think. Okay. Let's see. Oh, well, it's extremely similar to Hammerwatch or something. Yep, yep. Nom. <laughs> okay. Oh, great. Now we have a new game that makes Hilda free to leave home. What? This is the sound of an adventurer sent from the kingdom entering the dungeon to investigate the ruined town. But that is a very specific sound for you to identify. Adventurer, come this way. Okay. Oh, okay. I like that. For the long jump, that they lengthen it out to show that you need to hold it. Okay, that is a an interesting way of showing that. Okay, we have two dashes, which we can do upwards as well. Okay. What the heck yep. is it? Okay, I still wonder if I just mix the game names up or something. Or there's another game extremely similar to this. Okay, some golds. Let's see, show map. Okay. Show character. Is this supposed to be a roguelite? Oh, or it is. <sighs> You're expected okay. to die. No contact damage, which is good. It can get really annoying in games. Yeah, like... I don't hate contact damage, but I prefer the contact damage to make sense. Like... Is you throw a, a fire elemental, which means it's always on fire? Yes, contact damage will make sense but at that point. Is you uh, throw... So, a, a giant hedgehog. Then yes, contact damage makes sense. Yeah, just running into someone. No, come help. The first thing I do is jump into a bat's bullets. Yeah. So again, yeah. If you, if uh, someone's gonna have contact damage, make sure it makes sense. You'll uh, for it. Thank you for saving me, adventurer, who has been sent by the kingdom to investigate the ruined city, uh, ruined town. I'm the town's carpenter, Yulfort. How do I know that you've been sent to us by the kingdom? We love our ways. First, let's head back to town. Yep. Wait, if you could t teleport out of here, you should have done that ages ago. Unless they can't. Okay. 
it could be one of those damn thing that keeps them there. Ooh, what a relief. Now, it could be that the adventurer brought some sort of teleport stone or something. Hmm? You look confused as to how you got back to town. Or he did not. Or they did not. This necklace I'm wearing is connected to the town altar. A special spell can bring the user back to the altar. Again, why didn't you use that earlier then? Anyway, the town is now in ruins. What should I do? Well, you're a carpenter. Uh... Hey, adventurer. I have something to ask of you. There were many aside from me that were swallowed by the dungeon. Could you find them? Once it is possible, I will get ready uh, to rebuild the town. Can you do it? Sure. We have nothing better to do. A dear adventurer, so full of chivalry. Thanks a million. Wish you luck from here on. I shall give you this necklace. Again, why didn't you just poof out on your own so you could warn people that, well, there was a dungeon that would swallow you whole? Then again, I guess convincing someone to go in there <laughs> would be a bit more difficult. By the way, oh, I think that strange dungeon took out your weapons. I've got a different way. My grandfather was the best blacksmith in town. Let's see. Should be right around here. Found it. I was wondering where I'd be able to, uh, where I'd be able to use this, but the time has finally come. I think that's uh, I think that was supposed to be when. And uh, hello, uh, this is it. <laughs> My grandfather's masterpiece, the sword sword. Uh, well, he didn't. We definitely didn't short on the numbers he made. Use it as you will. I think I might. I think I might instead just take the chest, hold it open, and just have it in a short suit out. <laughs> oh no! Uh, that immigration for food feed is hilarious. I just remembered. I think I told you before, but there is a weapon like that in Warhammer Fantasy. And we have fast travel. Okay. Um, just there's a slayer who got, who was an engineer. But he took his sleigh off, but he still uses a gun instead of axes. But he made a special seat weapon. Or anti-infantry weapon in this case. That that launches axes. <laughs> uh, also, if if your father was or if your grandfather was the best uh, blacksmith in the town, likely the only one, it says a little low of his capabilities if the only if the best thing he made was a freaking short sword he definitely well, falls short sword... with his legacy but short swords are not that short to begin with true but they, they are also rather good at shopping let's see how oh, it's you like when demons threatened the world it is said that a warrior came along to stop them it is said that the devo devotees of the demon succumbed to the warrior's delicious food and even saved his colleagues? What? It's a little embarrassing, but the stakes pictured in the book of stories were mouthwatering. That feels like a reference. <laughs> yeah, this game is... Oh, okay, I was going to ask. Are they going to put up warning signs to prevent people from just walking into this thing? And the answer is yes. Okay, yeah, this game is not taking itself seriously at all. I like that. What is this? Okay, fast travel. Ow. Oh, well. Undead Siren of sorts. Or B Banshee would like... Yeah, yeah I was just to say, you know what a Banshee is, right? Yeah. What the... Horary uh, How did that thing swallow? Did you build this on your own in here or something? Uh, did I even start the timer? No, I did not. <laughs> okay. Hello, traveler. My name is Horarika. I'm the owner of the inn. I take responsibility in making sure your dungeon experience is great. I serve food to travelers who come here. I cook food with extraordinary ingredients. Please come often. It, it, it's a food shop. 
<laughs> you can pay for food at inns which are located within the dungeon. You can only eat one type of food per floor. Stats from food vary depending on the floor you are on. Be careful not to reach maximum uh, sat satiety before you, uh, because you won't be able to eat more. Uh, are reduced by moving to different rooms. Okay. Yep, hold. Okay, nice little art. Grilled mushrooms. Uh, you might have wanted to chop that one a bit more. It looks like something. And vegetable salsa soup. Yep, we have more hot chicken stew. It's just a <laughs> whole cooked chicken stuck in a bowl with <laughs> something. Uh, oh, it even has a little text. Grilled with a special sauce for picky adventurers. Uh, I'll admit, uh, it is a bit of a joke of how much I like mushrooms, but I really like mushroom uh, uh, mushroom sauce. It's the original recipe of the inn. It gets better when paired with meat. Uh, if you eat it with bread, even those who have a hard time with spicy food can enjoy it. Deluxe burger. I only use the finest ingredients, so I'm sure it will be delicious. Uh, you mean you didn't try this recipe yourself? And then seasoned chicken. I saw someone using a chicken leg as a weapon and <laughs> it inspired me. So you decided to weaponize your food? Okay. Again, we return to the wool Kentucky Fried Chicken yolks and all that. You know they want a thousand for that. That's a, some very spicy chicken in the cost. Okay, no thank you then. I'm liking this game so far. Oh yeah, you have this arm. Yeah, I can do just hold. If it's rogue light and so that it's a big maybe if we would stream it though. Yeah. I, like, I it's not bad. Break. It's not bad. Just the reason we may not see it is due to randomization. Yeah. And we don't know how long it is, especially as we're on the station that can be short or extremely long. But yeah. We also don't know if there's a lot of story either. Bump. Why did that sound like a gun getting shot fired? The chuck <laughs> dead. Let's see, let's just grab as much as we can before we die and likely get thrown out. Oop. Wait, we dropped bomb. Uh, what was it? There. Uh, leaves a bomb when dashing. Okay. That could actually be really useful. Uh, save and return to the main screen. Start on the next floor. And let's not. Is this, a, this is going to be a boss fight? No, up. Okay, okay, it's just the floor down. Do you still have the bombs? Oh, you still do. I thought you, I thought you used up the model. Oh. Yep. The warden of the underground prison, Belial. Okay. <laughs> Not fucking around at all, huh? Oh, come okay. on. He's puking on us. Oh, and... Okay, we just get levels. Okay. There's the constant progression that we'll be getting with those levels. 19 killed. And you'll be just get thrown out here automatically. I saw you go to the dungeon. Why are you here? If you gave us the damn you know, <laughs> necklace to get out. Uh, I don't I don't know what to say. I didn't think you were like that. Like, like what, that week? I you, you think we have time for a nap? Uh I mean, lost consciousness and woke up here. Uh, I don't need your excuse. We don't know what may have happened to the townsfolk while you took your nap. <laughs> Go save the people. Okay, why, why don't you just get started on rebuilding the place in the first place, dumbass? Oop. Come over here. Can you come over here for a moment? Okay. Uh, we're preparing the materials we need. Can you help? Let's see. 
Okay, so yeah, that is going to be how we part of how we progress. We now rebuild the town. You helped Yulford build a workshop. As a token of appreciation, Yulford has made you a handheld crossbow. As in a one-handed or one-handed it looks sure. like. All right. Let's so I was to say, them. usually you hold a crossbow with hands. Yeah. You're amazed that the short the sword comes out of the tiny chest. You have no idea how it is to fold it into that tiny box. Fold it. <laughs> what is this thing made out of? Plastic. Okay. Yeah, th this this game does look like it could be a ton of fun, though. Oh. Yeah. Oh, hello. Co Coplo Vina? You? Are you an adventurer? When I was trying to, trying to be a knight, I met many adventurers like you. A necklace. Well, that's one way of doing it. I'll see you back in town. Okay, so... They all forgot that they have those necklaces. Uh, or we have the only one, and we need to find them to get them out there. But if they do say that they all have the necklaces, then I'm going to kick some asses when I get out of here. Uh, hello there, Beefcake. Cannon. You've used an anvil before. I'll help you. Okay. Anvil blacksmith. Empty blacksmith that created the mysterious anvil. Only equipment that meets the conditions can be enhanced. Remember that enhanced items cannot be enhanced again will be taken back to the village. Okay. Uh, let's see. You get a heavy, light, and hand crossbow. <laughs> okay. Beefcake. Does, that, does that mean that we lose the weapon or that it loses its enchantment? I think it means uh, either enchantment or it stays behind. Ah, there we go. Enhance. Again, like All a right. why a gunshot sound like? It, that did not sound like a gunshot. That sounded uh, like a hammer on anvil. Yeah, but it was part of that just before it. It sounded like oh the, the when you when in Call of Duty when you fire some automatic weapons, it gives like a tack 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 sound. Oh, it, it, it's that's what that it sounded like to me. Okay, that is a bit weird. Okay, now it deals. 10% more damage and causes burn. There we go. Okay. So different kinds of bats deal different kinds of pattern attacks like that. Okay. Did we manage to keep our money from when we got thrown out? Or did we lose it? Good question. Oh, we kept it, it seems. Okay, that, that is something that really annoys me with Rogue Legacy, is that you lose all of your money uh, when you, well, have to enter the, 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 the castle again. Which can really slow down progression, if you ask me. Yeah, a bit too much. Uh, a bit too punishing. I, I could have just traveled back to that room. I, I gotta have to ask, did anyone else find the sound of hammer or anvil surprisingly soothing? Maybe it's not doing too much. So. Yeah, look, I've been saying this, hammer or anvil or just someone working on an anvil in general is probably horrible for anyone with a hangover or migraine. Yeah. The, oh, the little cross, the little bow bastards. I almost said crossbow, but that's a, a basic bow. Okay. Um, let's go for a little bit more, and then we'll call it on this. Yep. Okay. Do you oh, have a backup? Uh, I do have uh, backups. Uh, uh, hello there. Croc. You face like Traveler. Me, Merchant Croc. Many so precious. Come, come, come. Okay. Oh, 
Uh, that's a lot. Okay. What the Falks? Uh, yeah, Falks. They say this originated from a sickle used from uh, for farming. Okay. Yeah, it, it, you you know that special rim Romans have on a helmet. Uh, yeah. They invented that because of that weapon. <laughs> okay, to catch them. Yeah, more of ancient Romanians had that sword, and it reached over the tower shield. So they installed that special little extra cap on top, uh, high up on the helmet to catch the damn thing. But they ended up gold shield and like a claw piece through the helmet. Oh, okay, that's actually. Oh, that's actually in there. Okay. I, I wonder if any weapons that we buy from this, if we can. Uh, any actual weapons, not equipment like this, if that'll actually come out with the. Uh, with us in the shop as well. Why is that. Why does that sound. That sound it makes really reminds me of a gun. Yeah, of with an automatic rifle just taking a single shot. Also, why are those smileys on the doors? I ask you, why not? Okay. Chain armor. Uh, I'm guessing it might be part of this, this game not taking itself seriously at all. I, I jumped right into that. Okay. Ooh, another weapon. Steel mace. Okay. Uh, 4 to 14 damage, attacks per second. Okay. Uh, stunning light. Hmm. It deals more damage at max, but it deals less at the lowest. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, let's give this game five more minutes about. Oops. Okay, makes sense that the skeletons go can go into the spike since they well don't have any flesh to actually spike. Yep. <laughs> okay, I should have seen I should have seen that coming and just dodged. Okay. I'm guessing those levels will unlock things as we go. They don't seem to do much at the moment. Oh, first rescue. Now you can now you can request Yulforth to construct buildings. Okay. Oh, it's you. Okay, training center. Can train to increase adventurers' attributes. Let's do that. Yes. And did we keep any of the weapons that we bought? We built the training center. Thanks. This is the training center that Kabliva will run. You can increase your stats. If you want to train, you can always come to me. I will be in the western part of town. Oh. New items will appear in the dungeon. Rain bats. A tear, a tear mace or terror mace. Hammer of Tigas. Bloodstone necklace. Tactical baton. <laughs> Smith's uh, birch and baton. Okay. Just a bunch of stuff. Baby green bats. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is that a yeah, it's shuriken? Uh, boomerang. Uh, I don't think that's what a boomerang typically looks like. Uh, oh, come on, let read the flavor text. A boomerang comes back, but love doesn't. Oh, come on. Okay. That's sad. You're here, are you ready to train? Uh, yeah, let's uh, gain more damage. In the ability to specialize in swift oh, attack, power, attack speed, defense, evasion, and max health. It... Read is how you get health? <laughs> what? Let's see. Earn 20% uh, percent more gold. Um, how do I put... Oh, there we go. Okay. Plus 10 max health, and now we can get 20 more gold as well. Okay. And we can freely reset it as well, it seems. That that is always nice if a game lets you reset stats like that on a yeah for free without some sort of uh 
purchase or sacrifice. Like, it, in some games it makes sense... Um, <clears throat> where planning ahead with it is more encouraged, but more casual games like this, it is nice that they let you reset. Yeah, totally. But yeah, that can also mean that you can screw yourself up for late game if you can't reset stuff. But yeah, definitely a definitely a nice little game. I, I did not expect to actually like this one. Yeah, it has its charm. I am doubtful we will stream it, but we do give it approval that it does seem like a good game. Yeah, we might pick it up as a distraction thing every now and then, maybe. <laughs> Possible. Okay, and we have time for one more game. One that I am thinking of... Oh. Uh, I thought I set this up to go to... Hmm. I thought I'd set this up to go to windowed mode already, but yeah. This game is very likely to get streams already. We'll just have to find when to put it in. Also, uh, you're not you're not getting a white screen or something. Up now, now it is. Uh, I can see. I can see. Okay, because it's running in full mode, full screen mode, and sometimes that screws with uh, OBS. And yeah, this 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 is Dust an Elysian Tale. Wait, okay, I'm confused. I heard the, the term, the uh, Elysian Tale, the Elysian Tale, but not Dust an Elysian Tale. There you go, keep those settings, yes. This is a, this is a very good game. I'll say that's straight up front. And, uh, yeah. Let's start. Oop. Dustin Legion Tale supports auto-saving in addition to manual save slots. Please note that starting a new game or loading an existing game will override these auto-save slots. Always nice to inform people of that. And, uh, yeah, you can guess that I played this for a while. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Dust, but it's raining on this title screen. <laughs> Damn true, Glacier yeah. Boy. It's a bit comical that way. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got through this game on normal. And it does take a while to get used to the game, <laughs> to the game's uh, <clears throat> combat system. So let's just try for casual at the moment. Ideal for casual and young players, or those who simply wish to enjoy the story. Easy settings are enabled with no death penalty. Wait, there's a death penalty with this? Uh, let's see. Dust, but it's ready on the title screen. Should be called mud. <laughs> oh, Let's start. Gods. Our world has fallen to fade. Its great works long since complete. Its storied civilizations long since fallen to dust. The greatest legends of Elysium long since forgotten. What was once a land of promise has fallen to the ravages of war. And it was in this, our most desperate hour, that the greatest of Elysian tales began. The lone warrior stood against an army, slashing his way through all who opposed him. The mob stood no chance, and the soldier showed no mercy. But despite his victories, his skills, his ruthlessness. The valiant soldier would perish on this day. Not to the mob, but to a single child. It got cut off there at the very last second. Dust. Dust. Arise. A talking sword? What are you? Only that which you have summoned. Summoned? How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Now rise and claim the blade of Ara. Stop! Stop right there! And who 
is she? Me? I'm Fidget, guardian of the sword. So, what is this sword? I am the Blade of Ara, and you, Dust, are my fated sword bearer. Yes, well, that's all great and everything, but I think it's about time I got this sword back to the clan. I can't let you just leave with this sword, Fidget. Right now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. I don't even know how I got here. Hmm, well, then you leave me no choice. I... I challenge you! The winner gets the sword! That's not going to end up terribly for her. Well, I... Alright, alright, you win. But don't think I'm leaving empty-handed. I'm coming with you. <laughs> but, um, I really need the sword back when you're done doing... You know, whatever it is you're doing. What exactly am I doing, Ara? The answers you seek lie to the east. There is a path through the glade that leads down the mountainside, and from there you will find a village. That is your first step. So you don't know what we're doing, but you do know where we're doing it, apparently. Then will you give me the sword? I really need to get it back home before anyone notices it's uh, gone. When I find out just what it is I'm supposed to do with it, it's all yours, Fidget. Come on, let's go. I recognize the voice actors, definitely veterans, and I like the animations. It looks... At least the art side looks go gorgeous. Yeah, that is one thing definitely about this game. Also, I can't tell if the blade is 2D or 3D here, so that is always an, a good show of just how well something is made. Oh, I forgot what it's called when they do that. And yeah, this game is a, yeah, a, a melee fighting Metroidvania. Somewhat similar, in that way you could call it somewhat similar to Guacamelee, but you can see that there are very, very obvious differences. Yeah. I'm already feeling that this this might be a game be stream. Yeah, I was already planning to eventually. It's just where to put it in with all the rest. And yeah, I, I this game, I'll just say up front again, this is a really good game. Yep. Yeah. Uh, look up, look down for stuff. <clears throat> Uh, but, yeah, one of the, uh, the reasons that a lot of people avoided this game or didn't give it a try is because, well, furries have a bit of a reputation with stuff at times. So, yeah, people made it... I, I'll have to admit it kept me from this, trying this game for a while. But once I did try it, yeah, I, you saw that I put almost 12 hours into this game. What is it, Fidget? Am I going to have to click every time? I thought you could also autoplay this. Well, my kind has what you'd call a sixth sense. And there's something just ahead. Yeah. Oop. Yeah. Fidget will alert uh, you when treasure is nearby. Uh, I, I say this. The... Yes, I wouldn't fool do the thought it was going to be a freak. How did I... I forgot how many games... Well, the character is a anthropomorphic animal. True, but a lot of those are very cartoony. This game, uh, this game is going to be a lot more serious. Yeah, there, there, there's, like, there's some old games that took this as serious, like oh, bloody, what's it called? You, you mentioned the other day, Captain Claw or something. Uh, I think it is just called Claw, but I think that game still has a lot. Of, it, it's more that that game is really hard for some reason. And uh, not really sure how the story in that, if it's really too serious or too cartoony. Oh, oh, it is. I, I see someone play the demo and it's serious. That's Hell, it's it's hard. hard. Okay. Welcome to your map. From here, you can view explored areas within the current region. Uh, you can 
I also get a sense of any treasure within the immediate vicinity. Okay. Uh, what does a circle in the area mean then? Let's see, we can't jump down through platforms. Oh, hello. Dash acquired. Dash with Q and E. Dashing uses energy indicated by the flaming white bar in your hut. Yeah, that is very obvious. And yeah, it is just directional on the which. Oh, you can. Okay, it was blocked off, so we didn't well, lock ourselves out. Okay, nice little bit of design. Yeah, Q just dashes left, E to the right. There's something. Let's see. And healing item has been placed in your quick slot uh, item slots. Press H to heal or tap to manage your inventory. Okay. Uh, from here you can view active and completed quests as well as any notes you've picked up. Let's see. In ancient times, our greatest possessions and staunchest allies were locked away using powerful magic beyond our comprehension. The only way to reclaim these lost treasures is to use the magically attuned keys strewn about our world. I only hope there is enough you know, time to free them all. Okay. And, okay, we, we picked up a, chick, a cooked chicken no from way. earlier. We found a chest! Correction. We found a locked chest. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. That would be unwise, Dust. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era, and are well beyond my capabilities. I suppose we'll need a key, then. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's also just generally not a good idea to try smashing up chests, because you can damage the contents. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, hello. Hello, Bambi. Ah! Calm yourself, Bidget. Dust. Focus. Remember what you've learned thus far. Come on. Hey. Uh, Nobody said anything about monsters. Uh, yeah, on, on casual, I'm pretty sure we can get through this by just button mashing, but uh, on normal and higher, definitely not. Strange. Where did I learn these skills? You wield the blade of Ara, and with it, all the skills imbued therein. Uh, hello? Monsters? Is that why I summoned you? To control this power? It is unlikely, Dust, that I would awaken from my slumber for such selfish reasons. <laughs> Glacier Boy, that's not what the forest thought me. <laughs> there is a village beyond these woods. Perhaps finding it will aid in restoring your memories. Oh yeah, because in that you have to smash open every container that you find. And then we'll be in the clear, right? No more monsters. Fidget, I think things are about to get a whole lot worse. <sighs> and to think, this morning started off so well. At least take these feeble fruits. Something tells me you're going to need them. Feeble fruits? <laughs> What are those? Uh, inventory, yes. Let's see. Okay, they're health items. Okay. <laughs> Found embedded in a wall. This fully cooked and seasoned chicken comes from unknown origins. <laughs> uh, Castlevania. Oh, good God. But yeah, it, so far, I like it. This game, I like its charm and all that, but... That does probably because I... D yeah, I think you see and know how I think uh, when I see something. Like, I, I don't judge on furry or something. Like, if the story is good and it has a good story and feel, 
I'm most okay with the art style. Only there's something yawing with it. Yeah. Plus, e this is just all beautifully made. Yeah, and it. Yeah, I feel like it, it, this works. And it still does take it serious. Yeah. Okay. The enemies get health bars underneath them. Okay, not above them. Let's... Combos. If we do a, a light and then a heavy, we la we launch them in the air. Some building materials that look like. Uh, Rising Phoenix. Okay. Yep. Let's see. The Fallen. Okay. There we go. Okay, I did a different one in the air earlier, though. So let's see. Oh. Hmm. Okay. I did some sort of uh, diagonal downward strike, to basically chase after a target. Let's go. Oh. Hold here, Dust. You have unlocked a new ability. Bear witness to the dust storm. I like it. Just spin it like mad. Hold the secondary attack to perform the dust storm. But beware, skilled as you may be, you cannot maintain the storm for long without hurting yourself. In that case, maybe I can help. If you press the super ballistic fidget action button of power, <laughs> I'll perform an attack so spectacularly awesome that it'll produce emotions you didn't even know existed. Please contain yourselves as I demonstrate. Yeah. Right. That was, uh, very pretty. <laughs> what uh, the heck? <laughs> yeah, Fish is going to be the butt of so many jokes. I'll just keep the rest of my repertoire to myself. I'm sorry, Fidget. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. Actually, Dust, between the three of us, this could be quite useful. The Dust Storm can manipulate Fidget's projectile into a more powerful attack. Observe. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot more, huh? That's the Holy. power of teamwork. Oh, by the way, every time I use my power, it'll use up a bit of energy meter. You can recharge the meter with melee combos. Yes, Dust. Between your combos and Fidget's own powers, you can achieve a higher hit chain, which will yield bonus experience after each battle. Yeah, the force wall is already just plain gone. Yeah, However, do... If you are struck by an enemy, the chain will be broken. And you will lose your bonus experience. Go ahead. Uh, uh, listen, it. it does give you a feel, slight feeling of something like Owl House, Amphibious House. Just, just that they rose up the, how to say this, the age rating slightly. Mm, if this... you could mean that, like it's aims on a, a bit older audience. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this isn't for kids or anything, even with how difficult it would get on normal towards the end of the game. And hello there, Jess. Yep. <laughs> Not speaking in too quietly, I see, though. Yeah, hello, little yes. But yeah, it, it, it does also give me a feeling of that this could have been a show, even. Yeah. All right, I think I understand. If this is all too much for you, you can check out the help screen via the pause menu. Thanks, Fidget. I'll take a look if I'm ever in trouble. At least I'm not trying to, uh... uh mouse escaped. At least I'm not trying to bullshit it with, in, with some in-world stuff or something, like the magical journal or something. <laughs> uh, pressing the, budget, uh, the button for Fidget to do her attack, but she's not actually doing it. Uh, 
And yeah, when we do this, it also affects the background and such. It's also always nice. <laughs> Which button? Oh, it, it, it's middle mouse for some reason? And yeah, we could build up a lot of hits with that. Holy. But yeah, like the sword says, we can't uh, we can't hold this forever. As you can see, as well, dust starts to go red. Someone else in the chat? Or... No, they, why did they choose to get pixelated? No, that's still Glacier Boy. Uh, Alright, uh, oh no, I think I see what I think I can tell what he's saying. Uh, Glacier Boy, I found look crazy, yes. <laughs> I'll take those. Can I drop anything? No. There's a flag on the map. Hmm. Okay, this might be a thing because of I'm using the mouse instead of the controller. But I'm guessing... Yeah, I'm guessing on the controller this would be a separate button from the from the heavy attack. Or maybe... Hmm. I need to look into that a bit more. Maybe it's more combo related or something. Some, okay, that was a move. Sometimes it seems like it starts to do this when I intend to do that. Maybe it needs to be uh, close to an enemy to be able to be more an attack than this than the dust storm. Very good sound and music so far. Oh yeah, I'm very impressed. And... Oh, no, I think I'm really interested in I like the also I, I feel like it does take it so serious. All the yeah. games I see that were with animal characters, I don't seem to because they felt too childish. Yeah, that's a, another little stereotype that didn't help this game much. Like, people yeah. avoided it either because uh, you furry or, oh, you know, cartoon stuff, or cartoon kid stuff. I, 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 from seeing him, I don't get any of that. But if I would have seen her, then maybe. Yeah. So, any idea where we are? I was maybe hoping you could tell me. Oh, silly me. I seem to have dropped all my detailed maps and navigational equipment chasing after a crazy flying sword. <sighs> I'm sorry I got you mixed up in this fidget. Well, you should be. Digging my sword, getting me in trouble. You know, now that I think about it, this isn't the first time I've seen this view. I've stood here before, in this very spot. Then perhaps you recognize the village at the base of these cliffs? It's hard to make out from here. We'll need to drop down to the valley floor if we want to get any closer. Very well. Proceed as you wish, Dust. Quest has been updated. Let's see, dust to dust, of course. <clears throat> I, I bloody knew it. There's a village in the distance. Perhaps it holds some answers? You've woken up in a small glade in the mountains with no memory of your past. An ancient magical blade, Aura, and its guardian Fidget have joined with you. With no other path to travel, the road to the east is your only option. And yeah, here materials. Materials are collected from enemies, can be crafted into better equipment by a blacksmith. Materials can be also be sold to, sold to shops. But why did I say sold? <laughs> Once catalogued, shops will attempt to restock their inventory. Use this to advantage when materials are scarce. 
Okay, so it helps to sell at least one of our items to a you know, shop. So you can later buy more if you need it. And the stats. Time played, total completion, world explored, treasure found, max hit chain, and the amount of enemies found is 90 already, and friends found. And character screen. From here you can assign skills gems. Okay, required by level up. Uh, note that your highest stats must be within four gems of your lowest stats, so you can't min max. Okay. And we started out with one in max health. I'm pretty sure that was 80 before. So it must have been auto assigned or something. Let's... Okay. Also, ni these, these double as save stations and teleporters. Always nice. Very nice. Okay, I was going to check if there was something else up here, but it's just a jackass. We found a blueprint. Okay, the, the, apparently the, the down throw is like uh, light, heavy, light, light, and then hev <clears throat> heavy when you have a target to actually throw down. From what it seems from my semi button mashing. Yeah, there we go. That is definitely the one. Okay, might as well pick up the coins. Simple but effective combat. Yeah, a bit old school, but in a good way. Yeah. Okay, I, I thought one of them was going for an attack there, but apparently not. Go! That move is going to be my favorite, I think. Because it, give, it gives us so much mobility. Okay, let's see. Aerial Dust Storm. Holds it flight uh, mid jump to fly through the air and target enemies from afar. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, yeah, this, this will probably control a lot better with an actual controller. And there's the timer. So we go a little bit more until we find this village, or so we call it here. I say let, let's. Let's call it here for I think uh, like that. Uh, like we, we all gonna stream this. Yeah, definitely. So we will be able to return there. For I feel like if we go to the village now, it's gonna just drop more things that get me more curious. <laughs> and we already have something you are curious about set up for this evening. So oh, yeah, yeah, something special. Okay. A bit short from our typical two hours or tech. Well, typically we actually go over time with these. But uh, yeah, let's call this one here and head over here. But before we go raid, of course, the summary. Uh, let's see, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Nice game, but probably not. Maybe maybe some multiplayer with someone. Uh, one of my friends has it and like, you know, played it for a good while. Uh, Dragon's Dogma, I'll, I'll definitely play it on my own some further and maybe get more of an opinion on whether to stream it or not then. But for the now, right. it's on a maybe. <clears throat> yeah, I also said it said in a maybe. For, it had potential, but there were some things that did make concern, like the really how quick text uh, disappeared. Yeah. Uh, Dungeon Escape, just no. And no. Done greed. Okay, I just, I just noticed the <coughs> the icon or uh, yeah, the icon for done greed is the mouth of the dungeon, 
with the hero inside. Now we noticed. Oh dear. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, not sure about Dungreed. It, it doesn't really feel like there's going to be a full-on story in there, mostly just for fun. But yeah, I'm definitely I... not against playing it more. Yeah, I guess it, it... Fun game, likely not for stream, but let me show off this now and then, perhaps. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. That reminds me, I should take a look at Rogue Legacy 2. Apparently that's a long one is a lot better than the first Rogue Legacy, and on that one I just got stuck and annoyed to the point that I just gave up on it. <clears throat> and last but not least, certainly not least, Dust and Elysian Tale. That is a definite yes. Yeah, I feel like I heard people mention it and saying good thing of it. Wouldn't be surprised. Okay. A bit of a, a bit of a, yeah, up and down batch today, but we've had worst. So for now, we've had worst, not worst. Yeah. Let's see. Change the screen share to Twitch. Always double check if it is muted, which it is. And let's have a look at who are online. We have Sour Walrus with Death Stranding. The Citrus Postal Service, what? <laughs> okay. Uh, then we have Graham the Wolf out there in the middle of a cutscene. Uh, Graham the Wolf, who is streaming Yes, Your Grace. I still need to look more into that. Then we have Puffle Cakey with Pokemon Infinite Fusion. And they're just starting up, it seems. Still really impressive with how their face tracking of their, uh, that they have with their model and such. Yeah, the, uh, I think, uh, uh, something I know about that program is they have a very lively facial animation that tracks the face very well. Yeah. I should look into how they have stuff like that set up. It'll probably help a lot with uh, the new model that Noon is making for me. Uh, anyways, next up, yep, uh, numbers just changed, but I'll keep going in the way they were. Uh, we have WBPL76, who is streaming Mass Effect Legendary Edition. And that is endgame stuff that I'm, uh, I think we're looking at. They're currently doing uh, in Mass Effect 2. Uh, next up, we have Frog, Frog Cass, who is streaming Halo The Master Chief Collection. Okay. And then Kainai or Kainai, or, yeah, Kainai, I think is how it's pronounced. We have like, we know like three uh, VTubers with a very similar name like that, or a very, you know, the K, uh, then uh, yeah, A and uh, E, yeah. or I and N, and then and again, <laughs> uh, yeah, they're playing Minecraft. Uh, let's see, are they, does it say anything about. A mod pack, or are they just playing vanilla? Yeah, it, it definitely it doesn't modded. look like vanilla. <laughs> There's definitely not that many hearts in in vanilla. Also, the mini map tells a bit of that. Um, <clears throat> okay, then we have Horatius the Dwarf, who is just chatting at the moment. Uh, Psychology open house. Okay. And yeah, that's about the people in our typical range for ratings. So who would you say we would go for? Uh, I'm thinking personally, Kainé or Poffel. Uh, the choice is yours as always. I say Kainai. Okay. Will be interesting to see what mods they are playing. Uh, speaking of, I should probably start preparing a boss arena in the <clears throat> in the mod pack that I'm currently playing. So. I can actually show off all of the, show the bosses that I want to fight when we do stream that because I think I said this last time as well, but uh, I want to avoid streaming Minecraft where I just get distracted with things constantly instead of actually making progress with, with things. AKA Sidetrack Simulator. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's copy the name, head to our place, slash rate and paste. But before we, uh, before we go, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Glacier Boy, Jess, Noon, and was there anyone else? I think Sensei. there was. Yeah, Sensei, thank you for watching as well, and I hope your knee is doing better. And will be doing better as well the day progresses. And as always, of course, thank you, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend.
And yeah, with that, let's start the raids. Okay, it hasn't been blocked. I need to double check that you know, since some do block uh, small raids, mostly because of yeah, hate raid assholes, which apparently is still a thing. Yeah. And yeah. And in three hours, special stream. Uh, yeah. Uh, later tonight, uh, after dinner, which shouldn't get in the way, it hasn't on Sunday so far, or most cases at least, we will be streaming Dredge, uh, picking up that up as a, another side quest stream. And uh, yeah, looking forward to that. And uh, <laughs> and Rakia will be getting some swimming lessons as bait. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> and with that, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Peace, everyone. And until next time, I'm going to discipline my captain. <laughs> <laughs>